the FGFR2 uh, disease is, is quite an interesting area. There's been quite a bit of excitement now um, for these specific subset of patients. And as recent as the April of this year, there was an FDA approval of a pan FGFR1 to 3 inhibitor, pemigatinib. Uh, the drug's approval was based on a trial known as the FI202 trial, which was a trial of 146 patients. And these patients included largely a group of patients that had FGFR2 fusions or rearrangements. Uh, in fact, those patients accounted for about 107 of the patients in the trial. And what the trial demonstrated was that pemigatinib uh, resulted in an in a <clears throat> overall response rate of 35.5%. And among those patients, three of them had actually achieved a complete response. The duration of response was 7.5 months, and the progression-free survival was 6.9 months. Uh, the drug did have some toxicity um, as a class of medications. These drugs have a class effect of causing hyperphosphatemia, which is a manageable side effect. There was also a minority of patients who did develop detachment of the, uh, the retinal epithelial uh, membrane, um, indicating the need for these patients to undergo ocular examinations while they're on the drug. And other toxicities were included, including diarrhea in about 47% of the patients. But overall, it was a highly tolerable regimen, and this drug was approved based on this uh, data. The other compound that also is in the same class, uh, class is the drug infigratinib. This is also an inhibitor of FGFR1 to 3. This drug has been given fast track designations by FDA, mainly based on the data that has not been presented, uh, most recently at uh, ESMO. And uh, this was a phase two trial, a uh, single arm trial, looking at infigratinib that was given daily for 21 days with a one week rest following that. The primary objective of the trial was to look at overall response rate and then also to look at the duration of the response and progression-free survival. This trial also includes three cohorts of patients. The first cohort of patients are patients who have FGFR2 fusion or rearrangement. The second group of patients are patients that have other FGF abnormalities. And the third group are patients who have actually progressed on an FGFR2 inhibitor and now we're being considered for the infigratinib trial. One of the uh, interesting things that I pointed out to you was the fact that it appears that patients who are exposed to infigratinib earlier may have a better response rate. And so the thought was to design a phase three trial to look at infigratinib in the first line setting. So this is a trial, this is the proof trial that is currently uh, open and is accruing patients. And the trial includes patients that have unresectable uh, recurrent or metastatic cholangiocarcinoma who have not had any prior systemic therapy in the metastatic setting. These patients all need to have had an FGFR2 fusion. This can be either centrally tested or locally, um, and they need to have a very good performance status. And these patients are then randomized in a two-to-one fashion to receive either the oral infigratinib compound or receive standard of care chemotherapy with gemcitabine and cisplatin. The patients are actually followed until uh, radiographic progression of disease. And at that time, patients who are on the chemotherapy arm have an opportunity to cross over to infigratinib. This trial has uh, started to accrue patients. Uh, there are patients in the study. We do not have any early information about um, efficacy results or safety results at this time.